Sass Brillers, it's your girl Sassy J and I am back with another video. Yes guys, as you can tell by the title down below, I will be sharing with you some of my favourite fragrances of all time. Or should I just say some of my favourite fragrances that's in my collection? Mm, yeah, because there's still some fragrances that's out there that I really, really want. So Christmas is coming guys, Christmas is coming. So if you want to treat the girl, okay? <laughs> Don't let this video stop you now, okay? Don't let this video stop you, okay? <laughs> but anyways, guys, before I go into this video, please go ahead, like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, ooh, smash that subscription button. Yes, guys, turn it from red to gray. And make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you get notified every single time I upload a new video yes guys now let's get into this let's get into this guys this was so hard to choose because as you can see from my intro i have so many different fragrances that i just love and my love for fragrances started from way back when i remember my very first fragrance my very very first fragrance was the versace red jeans right and i got that from z million i think it was my 18th birthday and let me tell you a fragrance is not just a scent in a bottle okay a fragrance is a memory it takes you back to a time and a place and a certain event it is a memory it's a memory in a bottle and i could tell you whenever i smell that fragrance it takes me back to when on my 18th birthday in the restaurant with my mom z million my brother and we we're just eating and laughing and those are good memories for me so when i say i like to have that fragrance and that's another fragrance i probably need to go and get because i spray it all the time when i see it but i don't actually have a bottle for myself but every time i spray it all i remember is that good time that i had when i was 18 years old and obviously that means a lot to me because my brother is no longer around so like i said it's more than just a scent in a bottle it's a memory okay that being said guys that being said let me begin okay guys so this is going to be very hard but i've got fragrance dotted around me so if you see me looking to my right or my left it's because i've kind of put them in a certain order because i find myself getting carried away and i don't want this video to be too long okay so my first one i'm gonna go for is my fragrance that i called my baby in a bottle right and that would be olympia and this is from paco raban um and i really love this i really really love this i actually have this one in more than one so you have it in the intense you have the norm the original and you have the aqua so i've got it in this version and i also have it in the aqua version as well but i do love this, this is a sweet fragrance and when i say I love my sweet fragrance, by the way, guys. I just put that out there. I love my sweet fragrances. Um, but when I say my baby in a bottle, my baby in a bottle. I remember that first time I got that fragrance, it was given to me as a gift from a certain someone. And it meant a lot to me, so I kept buying it. But I also love, love the smell. Okay, guys. So my second one is the sea and this is by armani and i know you guys if you are familiar with the sea then you know this is a little bit different but do not be fooled it's the same exact smell as the original but this was a limited edition and what i loved about this i gotta shake it you might not be able to see this let me try and do it but this actually has shimmer in it did i shake it enough i don't know if i shook it enough but it actually has a shimmer. I'll let it dry only because you shouldn't really rub your fragrances because you can damage the note. I don't know if you can see that, but it has some sparkles in there. Can you see the sparkles? I can't really see it in the camera, but I can see it by looking at it in my hand. And I really like this fragrance. I love the smell of it. It's an intense fragrance. So you only need a tiny bit, um, but I love this version of it because it's shimmery. And when I go on holiday or during the summertime and you kind of spray that on you, obviously do not spray it on your clothes. Let me tell you, do not spray it on your clothes because that shimmer will be on your clothes, baby. Okay. But I do love it. And I like to have that nice little shimmer all over my body. Okay. So let me and these are my i'm showing the ones that i love the most like my top 10 right first <laughs> before i get carried away <laughs> okay so my next one is insolence and this is by Guerlain, and i absolutely love this and this one i have to be very careful because i think this is um it's either discontinued or i don't know but 
this one is so good i just love it so much guys like when i wear this i only put a tiny bit you it stays on me like forever forever ever forever ever yes guys forever it stays on me and that's what i love about it um this one is another forever ever stayer and this is alien now alien usually when i buy the alien i buy the the 90 ml bottle but this one was actually a gift given to me by a customer and i really appreciated it bless him and this i still have it and do you know what even though it is like a 40 ml it's lasted me probably longer than my 90 ml bottle would have lasted me i don't know i think it's different when you get it as a gift you kind of just want to save it a moment and you kind of take time with it but i absolutely love this and this one i tell you Simeon loves this fragrance as well. Like, she loves this fragrance. I will, trust me, I will take this fragrance wherever I go. And do you know what? I've had this since 2019, believe it or not. Because um, I took this to Jamaica with me in 2019. And it's still, there's still some is left in the bottle. Um, my next one is going to be um, the Carolina Herrera. Good girl. Um, and you might not recognize this bottle because this is a limited edition of the original you might uh, you might recognize this box though see this is a box that i have had this one for so long um it's not see the back is all kind of just see it all my kind of messed up but it's actually not opened um and i've had that for so long um because i've got that up did you hear that guys i just dropped the fragrances I just literally just dropped the fragrance on the floor. I just hope nothing broke. Um, but anyways, <laughs> rude. <laughs> you know, as I was saying, so you might not recognize this one, but it's the same as the original. But once again, the limited edition bottle. And I love the bottle because it's the shoes and it's just, oh, doesn't it remind you of the Devil Wears Prada with the little shoes thing? but i absolutely love the smell of this guys and if you know fragrances you'll know that these are all kind of sweet fragrances and i'm attracted to sweet fragrances i don't like it overly sweet because then that gives me a headache but i just like to be i like you know when you walk past somebody you walk past them and they're like oh what you're wearing you smell nice that's the kind of effect that i like i love to smell good like i love to smell good okay i do anyways moving on moving on okay so my next one is scandal and this one is by jean paul gaultier and this one is not open every girl likes a bit of scandal in their life yes <laughs> i don't know what that was but anyways guys um if i could find a picture of what the bottle looks like i'll put it up here but i really love the bottle i love the bottle it's got like little legs kind of like kicking up and stuff but this is not opened it's not open because, I've, like I said, I love it. Some of these I was given at conference at work. Some of them I was given as gifts. Some of them I bought because I wanted to treat myself. Um, and so when I buy these fragrances and I look at how many fragrances I have out, um, I was like, it's when it's opening the fragrances. And I try to share them um, with my friends and my family when I get bored of them. But obviously, it's very hard still to share my babies or to give my babies away anyways moving on <laughs> so my other one is um mom Paris. can you see it i don't know if you can see this mom Paris. yeah okay so that's by e saloron e <laughs> sorry as well and that i really really do love it's like a floral sweet fragrance and this one as well that's not only toilet but they're having the perfume the perfume is a bit stronger i do like the perfume but i love the smell the scent that the other toilet gives it's a bit lighter and it's like more, it's a bit more floral compared to the it's floral but it's not as intensely sweet as the perfume version which is what i like about it once again it's not open because like i said i have way too many open bottles right another one of my favorites is the um chloe and when i say chloe and as you can see to be honest if you i'm not gonna lie this is open but i've not actually used it 
so it's out of the box but i've not actually used this fragrance yet um and i haven't used it only because i have another i was gonna reach for it but it's too far uh, i have another chloe that's open and it's the rose version and i thought to myself mm, when i opened the box of this i thought maybe i shouldn't have done that but i'd already chucked the box away so i just kept it but guys have you ever tried the chloe let me tell you, the bottles are small and they're expensive, but these this is literally mm, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is not one of my favorite fragrances. Um, I do like it though, but my I love the intense version. And the intense version, I want you guys to listen out clearly. If you know me and you love me, please get me the intense version of this fragrance, please. And that's why I sell Lieb please get me the intense version of this like this one i absolutely i like it but the intense okay so that is the original i want the intense guys the darker deeper darker color one it's so good it's so so good like this is nice don't get me wrong but the intense so good okay so guys i'm not going into a proper explanation of the notes of these fragrances i'm not doing a notes thing but if you want to know the notes of the fragrances then comment down below and let me know and i'll do a video where i tell you more about the notes but because i have so many fragrances that i could not choose my favorite ones obviously i'm just showing you them because it's a lot more easier that way for me but anyways if you read this far in the video and you have not subscribed do the dudes now tra please subscribe guys okay subscribe 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 anyways moving on let's move on to chanel now i have a couple of chanel fragrances talking about that where is my my um mademoiselle i don't know where it is i have not seen it since i i have not seen it for a little while actually but anyways guys so this fragrance here is one of the fragrances i love at chanel and this is the Gabrielle Essence. This I have not used either. Um, you was just seeing me trying to fumble it out of the box. Um, I just like to keep it, you know, on the stand because it looks pretty. Um, I've not actually used this. And I I really, I like it, but it's not my favorite. In fact, I actually have my favorite Chanel fragrance here. And I'm going to show you that. So hold up. Wait a minute. Let me get my favorite Chanel fragrance in it. And <laughs> oh my God, see what I just did? <laughs> Woo. Okay, so I'm back. So apparently it was my favorite Chanel that fell to the floor. Okay, guys, so my favorite Chanel fragrance, and it's not even open. Guys, I kid you not, this fragrance is not open. But my favorite Chanel fragrance, I don't know if you can see it. Let me hold it back from the light. Don't don't play with me, light. Don't play with me. Can you, can you, oh, 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 oh. It's the, now, you know what? I give up. I give up. I'll put, I'll just put a picture of it up there. It's the Chanel Chance O Tendra. And when I say, not just the normal chance, because you know they have a lot of the chance family. You got the chance, you got the fresh, you got the Aviv, you got the Otendra. That's the one that I love, the one with the little pink, the one like the pink bottles. Gosh. And I love that fragrance. And when I say I love this fragrance, I love this fragrance because it's nice and delicate and it's soft it's very floral and the thing about this fragrance is it it feels light it smells light but it's lingering it's one of those lingering classy smells and i love it i feel so feminine when i'm wearing this fragrance i kid you not like i just absolutely love this fragrance um but yes guys let me not drag this video out too long so let me move on another one of my faves also not opened as yet um, I think mainly because I have an open bottle, like a little bit less than an open bottle. And this is um, Because It's You, and that's by Armani as well. Love it. It reminds me, do you know why I love this um, this fragrance? It's because it reminds me of passion fruit. Yeah, I don't know. I love passion fruit. And when I was younger, we used to have this passion fruit tree kind of like just outside the, the gates of where I used to live. And I used to just pick them cut them in half and sprinkle salt in it and just eat it but that fragrance reminds me of passion fruit that's that's the kind of smell the exotic kind of smell that it has um okay so moving on to another one that is still also not opened 
and that's the Gucci Bloom. And the Gucci Bloom, I it took me a while to like this fragrance. Have a good look at it, guys. It took me a while to like this fragrance, but and I don't know if it's because it was too florally. It was just it's a really floral fragrance, guys. It's really, really florally this fragrance and at first i was just like i cannot i don't like it i don't like it i don't like it and i was given a big bottle and i was just like oh i don't like this why am i getting these big bottles of fragrances i don't like but it grew on me it really grew on me and i really actually like it and i do you know what now like when i when i wear it i think i even have it in like a rollerball kind of thing and when i wear it like i get a lot of compliments on it so i'm all for it but it's it's, it's it's expensive it's not cheap it's it's freaking expensive and i was fortunate enough to be given that size again uh, when i went to conference last time a few years ago so you know i've had a lot of these fragrances packed up because every time i get past some fragrances i buy fragrances and i add it to the collection and every time i i use or i give away some i keep buying and adding them to to the whole thing so it's, it's hard it's hard to get through them Talking about fragrances that I didn't like and now I love, I have to mention Mongolane, right? And this is another um, Guerlain fragrance. And I don't know if you guys might have seen the ad. I think it was Angelina Jolie that does the ad for this, the campaign for this. Um, yeah, and I never liked this. I never liked this fragrance when it first came out. Um, I just don't know. There was just something about it I just didn't like. Um, and I remember I met the rep and he gave me... 100 ml bottle and i was just like oh, why does man give me this 100 ml bottle of a fragrance that i will not wear and i had the fragrance just sat on my my dressing table and one when i was moving i was going through the fragrances and i kept spraying on my hands and stuff i wouldn't even spray this on me because i've got so many fragrances on me right now um and i smelled it and i was like oh you know, I'm going to leave it and see what it smells like you know see how i feel and then i remember my friend came and she was just like oh now, I said to her first, oh, you smell good. And she went, oh, no, it's not me. It's you. And I was just like, me? And I was just like, I don't even remember if I even had a shower today. <laughs> Guys, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I was trying to move. I was packing my stuff up. I was just like, girl, you sure? And then she's like, yeah, 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 it's you. And then I remembered that I sprayed it on my hands. And that's when I realized it was Mongolian. And since then, it was love ever after <laughs> but i absolutely love it um the other one guys da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da. and you know what i love this fragrance this is the lancome fragrance and i've dropped this a few times and see the other bit falling off and broken but i'll show you show it to you i use this fragrance quite a lot and i don't want to use it out anymore because i don't want it to finish right and this is a lancome and this lancome idol um, and what I love about this is this, the bottle is so flat and it's so thin But this is meant to represent something that you don't leave behind You don't leave your house without And, and if you look very closely If you can actually think about one item that you never leave your house without Is your phone, right? Hello? Uh, Lancome? Yeah, you would like to give me some more free fragrances? Yes You, you want to sponsor this video? Yeah? No? Maybe next time? Okay. It's a no. But anyways. <laughs> so yes, guys. This is meant to be something you never leave your house without. And I tell you, if you try this fragrance, you will love this fragrance. This is very floral as well. I've never actually shown this fragrance to anyone that's not like this fragrance. So you will not be disappointed if you got this. Now they have different... Um, one's added on to the Idal family um but the original is always the better one for me in this case it's beautiful um <laughs> anyways guys i must point out that this video is in no way shape or form sponsored by anybody okay it's not sponsored and nobody have given me no free thing to do a video it's not sponsored okay all these fragrances that i'm showing to you are either fragrance that was given to me as a gift or fragrances that I bought all right so now that we've got that out of the way let's carry on to my other fragrance guys oh my god this video what's wrong with me 
And this is a um, Dolce, Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi and Madonna, something, something, something. Okay, so this is the only one from Dolce & Gabbana. And that is an another one that's in the box and is sealed. And it will not be open for now because, like I said, way too many open fragrances to get through. So... I'm not going to do it, but that's a very good fragrance. If you like your fragrance sweet, guys, go for those fragrances. Any one of the fragrances that I've actually shown you, I would say go for it. Um, talking about fragrances that's opened, again, as you can tell, barely used. You want to open? No, you don't want to open? And this is the Gucci Pour Femme. And I like this. And this is like a limited edition, I think. Um, this is quite recent, actually. This is quite this year. Um, I don't know. I think you, yeah, this was this year, right? Yes, this was this year. This was this year. And guys, I love this. And this is another um, fragrance that makes me feel really feminine. It's got that really delicate kind of smell. It reminds me a bit of a roses, but it's not actually quite roses. I, I can't explain it, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'd wear this on an everyday. And for me, people always say, you know, fragrances, show me what's the best fragrance to wear, like in wintertime or daytime or summertime. For me, fragrance is... Yes, you can put a fragrance to a season, but I go with the mood. I choose my fragrance according to my mood. So if I feel a certain way, I go for a certain fragrance, and that's how I look at it. I do have a lot of designer fragrances, but I have a few celebrity fragrances as well. I have my Britney Spears, I have my Nicki Minaj, I have my J. Lo. I have those fragrances because those are kind of fragrances that I will wear to, like, sleep sometimes go to bed like you know to smell nice and stuff or if i'm going to go out like to the shops or whatever if i don't want to put any of the expensive ones on obviously i mix my fragrances quite a lot so i'm like about two or three fragrances and i go on okay but let me quickly wrap this video up because i see where it's going over time and i'm gonna like show you like two twos right now <laughs> so this one guys is the lantidy by givinci and this is the only toilet version. And I really, really, really like this one. But my favourite is the Parfum. But I don't have the Parfum. And I don't see the point of buying the Parfum when I've got the other toilet. The Parfum, like, I've got that little bottle. See, I've had this little bottle of the Parfum for quite some time. And I'm going to hold on to it with their life. I don't care what you say. It's staying with me. It's staying with me. It's staying with me. But yes, guys, I absolutely love the Lantidy, regardless of whether it's a perfume or eau de toilette, because I'm not really that fussed, to be honest with you, because I know some eau de toilettes that last longer than perfume. It's all about the amount of essential oil that's actually in that product. Did you know that? Did you know that? But anyways, um, another one that I love is the um, Miss Dior, and I love this fragrance. And this one is actually, um, which version was this again? I think this was from about three two three years ago this version i think it's discontinued now um i think it was discontinued recently i think because um, now they brought out a new one they brought a new version but i quite like this one but this one is very strong so i only put like a tiny bit at each time who am i kidding <laughs> i sprayed the whole thing i spray it i sprayed i sprayed a lot but yes guys <laughs> I spray it a lot, but I love it, guys, and I, I really do love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so my next one is Gucci Guilty, and when I say Gucci Guilty, I am guilty uh, of falling in love with Gucci Guilty. I love this, and this is the intense version, by the way, because I prefer the intense version compared to the original one and it smells the same it's just that the intense one just to me is a bit sweeter and you know when they do like a perfume version of a fragrance sometimes it's it tends to smell a lot more sweeter doesn't it and i think that's why you can either like it or you don't like it and i think this is the reason why i like it it's the sweetness of this fragrance that i really really like i like how sweet it is i love that it's long lasting as well and it is a perfume and like i said i have worn the other toilet but i prefer the perfume in some fragrances i do prefer the other toilets though like say the hypnotic poison i had one of those i think i've run out but i'm not gonna buy any more not right now but hey it's christmas is coming <laughs> christmas is coming hypnotic poison or the toilet that's the one i like they do it in a perfume but i prefer the other toilet so if you want to buy me something that or the lieb intense let me know okay so my very last fragrance guys and i tell you i went on and on and on and i got too excited about all these fragrances and it was so hard for me to choose but my final one is 
Valentino, Born in Roma. And I love this fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance. If I can find a picture of the bottle of what it actually looks like outside of the box, I'll put it up there for you. But I don't want to open it. That's the thing. I do not want to open it because if I open it, I'm just going to use it. And I'm going to be left with another open bottle of fragrance that I probably will not get around to using okay but yes guys i have shown you probably about 20 to 21 fragrance that i really really like that's in my collection um guys i could not choose i'm sorry this was meant to be about 10 fragrances but i got carried away and i could not choose and this is the reason why when people ask me what's your favorite fragrance i say to them i don't know i cannot choose i cannot choose my favorite fragrance but one thing i can tell you i do not have a signature scent I do not like the idea of having a signature scent and that's because I always say when I'm around or when I'm coming I don't want people to know it's me I don't want them to know that oh a sassy was here because of my fragrance you know I just don't want them to know I just want to keep them guessing that's how I feel I want to keep them guessing okay but yes guys well some people like to have a signature um, fragrance and there's nothing wrong with that but if you do like to have a signature fragrance, I would say try one of these fragrances that I've showed you tonight because trust me, they're all very gorgeous fragrances and you will not be disappointed. But anyways, guys, my eyes are closing down. I am so tired right now. And guys, my hair, look how my... Guys, I washed it today and it's literally... The shrinkage is cray cray. But anyways, enough about that. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoy this video. And if you're looking for a new fragrance, I would suggest trying one of these fragrances. I don't know, but I really, really like them. And I hope this gives you some good ideas, whether it's for a gift for somebody or a gift for yourself. But yes, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And hold up. Wait, guys, before you go, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you actually really like this video. Also, guys, please subscribe. Turn that red button into gray, please. I'm, I'm tired of seeing a red button, okay? Turn it into gray, guys, and hit that notification bell so you get updated every single time I upload a new video. And guys, also, please comment. Let me know you're here so we can communicate and get to know each other. But for now, guys, thank you for tuning in. I will see you in my next video. Video, but for now, keep it sassy-licious.